Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. And we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals the arc cosecant of 4x squared. Well, what I'm going to do is apply my rule for the uh, derivative of r secant. So, we have dy dx here is equal to, let's take that single so derivative using that rule, negative 1 over, okay, you can put a negative to the 1, that's fine, the absolute value of z, and in this case z is what's in my parentheses, so the absolute value of 4x squared times the square root of our parentheses, 4x squared, all squared, right, minus 1. Now, we still apply the chain rule and take the derivative of the inside, right? 4x squared, uh, yeah, 4x squared, the derivative of that power, 2 comes down, multiply by 4, and we have an 8x right there. So, when we simplify this, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, the negative will pretty much stay there, but we look at the 4x squared, and taking the absolute value of 4x squared, well, any number we plug in for x, we're squaring it, so it's going to be a positive number. So the absolute value is unnecessary now at this point here, um, and part of our, our, our simplification process here. And then we can cancel that out with the 8x, right? 8 and 4 give me the 2 up top, and the x cancels out with this 1x here, and me 1x in the denominator. So I have a negative 2 up top over just 1x in the denominator. Now we're taking the square root. All right, let's simplify this. 4x squared, all squared. We square the 4 and get a 16. So we have 16 right here. And then x squared squared is x to the 4th power. And we have the minus 1. And make sure the, the bar of the squares go, um, goes over the whole thing. But now we're done. So our final answer is negative 2 over x times the square root of 16x to the 4th minus 1. So let's recap. We're given <coughs> y equals the arc cosine. Um, uh, our cosecant, sorry, our y equals our cosecant of 4x squared. Well, we need to take the derivative of that. So, by following our rules, we have negative 1 over, what's in our parentheses, 4 absolute value of 4x squared, times the square root of 4x squared squared minus 1. Then multiply that by the derivative of the inside using chain rule, which is 8x. From there, we simplify. Um, the negative stayed, but the 8 and the 4 cancel the 2 up top, and the x over the x squared gave me the x down here. We didn't care about the absolute value because any number that we're plugging in there, when we square it, will become positive. Don't need the absolute value that was um, useless in a sense. Right? Uh, there will be no numbers where it will be, um, change anything. Then we take some blood inside here. Uh, 4x squared, all squared, is 16x to the 4. So, given my final answer now, again, is negative 2 over uh, x times the square root of 16x to the 4th minus 